Okay, we continue the tools that we want to explain the care blend and uh, connect. The connect is very simple. It's connect to a uh, selected curve and reach to the end point. For example, you want to connect this curve to the this curve, select the connect. <clears throat> you can join it after connection and you know the, uh, and I explained with this <clears throat> example, the extend arc by arc or just click and click. As you can see, the <clears throat> Uh, this segment will extend it and uh, reach to the end, the intersection point, and done. Let's try to this. As you can see, trim the uh, extend the external segment and trim it because we have mm, automatically trim it. But uh, you can see they are not joined; they are separate because the joint are turned off. Another example is this. We have two uh, similar curves that I want to explain it. If we extend by the curve and it smooths, it looks like this. It goes the, exactly uh, along this, uh, continue this arc and it smooths. But if you turn it to the line and line, click, click, and as you can see, you can see the difference. It try to breach the, the intersection point with a line. Okay, extend to the line and extend to the arc. You can see it here. Okay, this is unconnect. Another interesting and important tool is uh, blend curve. This tool is the one of the most important tools is here. We lose a lot in the project. For example, we have a curve here that is smooth and we have a curve here. Uh, if you, for example, want to connect them and go <clears throat> and use the, this tool and want to connect them, and you can see the brick connection is here, and <clears throat> it's very uh, hard to make the exactly tangent of this. As you can see, it's very hard. But this tool it does it automatically for you. If you select the blend curves, <clears throat> I will explain it. Just select first. And then second, and it's automatically uh, uh, <clears throat> selected to connect it to each other. But in the default, it is in a position. As you can see, just connect it with the straight line. This is a, a curve one, two. The first curve that you selected, the second curve that you selected is here. If you want to accept the <clears throat> or corresponding the tangents of this line, it's continue the tangents of this line, start line, and continue the second tangent of the line. If you want to show the tangent continuity, you can show the curvature graph is here. But as you can see, we have a brick here. This is a curvature graph that I will explain it. If <clears throat> you can see it because of its dis display as scale is too low, you have to make it bigger or change it in density more. <clears throat> uh, okay. Sometimes the tangency is not good, but the curvature does your work nice, as you can see. But in this case, not again. But you can see the G3, G4, you know them. I explained it before. And as you can see, the G are make them better. And here you can, with, with this handle, you can change the curvature of this uh, <clears throat> curve that you created in between them. Here you can close the graph to close it but here you can change the graph you can cancel it and right click again <clears throat> you can use it, the curvature and with this handle you can change the curvature of connection of these two if you want to uh, connect them in the both side let's go to this it's better <clears throat> For example, if you want to select them in both sides, holding shift, I think holding shift, yeah, as you can see, both line. But if you do, don't hold shift, just one part of this connection, you can change this curvature, okay? You can change the curvature, you can use any continuity for your... <clears throat> 
And here you can flip one. As you can see, you can flip the one and flip the two, curvature of two. You can click and drag and change the, uh, in, uh, it's automatically, if you cancel it, if you right click and select the blend curve again, it's automatically blend the start at the curve end. It's automatically <clears throat> use the end of the curves. But here you can select it and pick a point. It means if you, for example, select here, then select exactly here, it's pick exactly this point for blending between them. The pick point, so end. Or interesting part here, you can blend between the curve and the point. Here, simply create a point and create it here and go to the blend curve and select the first curve and then select the point and after that, select your point. It's curved continuity to that point. Interesting. But as you can see, you cannot change the continuity to the two because it's a point and it does not continue to. <clears throat> but you can the curvature with the G3, G2 curvature and position if you want it. Uh, another interesting thing that see if you select <clears throat> Then Rhino, in the default, we have no history. For example, if you click here and click here and hit OK, and after that, you cannot uh, come back and edit it. But if you turn on the history and uh, go to the blend curve and done and uh, hit OK, and after that, you come to tool again and select the edit and select this, you can come back and edit it because in this tool um, we he turn the history and the software node the uh, tool and you can edit it if you want to come back and edit it <clears throat> yes. select again edit and you can edit it but if you change the one of the these points, as you can see, it's break the history. You can cancel it or continue. <clears throat> Another sitting over that is the edge. It's very interesting. If you come here and in a perspective, as you can see, we have two uh, 3D objects here, the surface here. We have a surface, trimmed surface. This is an arc. If you, for example, select all of them, I will explain them later, don't worry, and patch them. As you can see, we have an arc here. Uh, in this section, we have two things. The edge of the, this surface and the arc curve. As you can see, this is a surface and the curve. Okay, we delete the curve here, and as you can see, we have just a edge of the 3D. We have no curve. This tool is special for a curve. But if you select it, you can select the edges of the surface. Select edges and here click. As you can see, it's blend this click part to the other click part here. Interesting. Okay. You can blend between two points that are not curved, the edge of the surface. Interesting. And with these tools, <clears throat> you can do it and change it if you want. But if you want to change them on the both sides, you can hold shift. On the both sides. Interesting. And then click. And then hit OK. So you can blend between two points with these tools. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.